Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you a few things that I only own one of. So most people will usually own a few of these things. However, I only own one of them. So I'm going to show you a few things here and then I'll take you for a little tour around the home to show you what else I own only one of. The first thing I own one of is a choker. So I don't own any necklaces, so I'm going to put them in the same category here. So I used to own a whole stack of them in the past, but I decluttered them all because I couldn't justify keeping them either because I wore them only sometimes or I didn't wear them at all. So I got rid of them all and just kept this one. The reason why I kept this one is because it looks good on me, I think, and also because it has a Japanese character on it, which is Shin, meaning trust. So I like the meaning behind it as I study Japanese. The next thing that I own only one of is a Bottle. So literally, my bottle is my best friend. I'll tell you why. It's because I take it everywhere with me. It doesn't matter if I'm inside the house or if I'm outside going out somewhere. I will take my bottle wherever I go because I drink a lot of water and I think it's a really cute bottle too. So if you want to learn to drink more water, have a bottle with you. Just have one and make sure it's a bottle that you love and that you can use easily. Some are quite tricky, so this one's super easy. You just gotta unscrew it and that's it. It's so simple. So I love my bottle. I will put it in my handbag and take it with me whenever I go shopping or go out for the day. And wherever I go in the home, I will take it with me. If I'm sitting on the sofa, I will take it with me. If I'm going to bed, I'll put it beside my bed so that if I get thirsty in the middle of the night, I can have my water there. I don't know why, I don't know if you guys can relate, but if I don't have my water bottle next to my bed when I go to sleep, I literally get straight away dehydrated just from the thought of not having my bottle there with me. Do you guys, can you relate to that? I don't know. That's just something I go through. So I need my bottle wherever I go. I own one phone case as well. So this is the phone case that my phone came with when I purchased it. I'm not a big phone case lover, so I'd have no need to purchase a fancy one. I just literally have it for practical reasons. That is to protect my phone. So I own one and that's it. I own one journal, so I use it for two purposes. For the front side, I will have it for my devotionals when I read the Bible. And for the back side, I'll use it for work purposes if I wanna write down any work-related notes. However, most of the time, I'll do this either on my phone or on my laptop. In our home, we own one extension cord. So this is mainly used for if we're working from the dining table perhaps, or somewhere far away from the PowerPoint, we'll have the extension cord to charge up our laptops, for example. And we also use it for our piano because it's far away from our PowerPoint in the corner of the room. So we have to use this to plug in our piano to use it. We have one gas lighter in our home. So we literally only have this for lighting candles in our home and that is it. At the moment, we only own one quilt cover in our bedroom. Honestly, I don't know how we've survived this long with only one quilt cover. It's been a few months now. We've even made it work somehow throughout the winter time, but at least it dries quickly. So when we wash it, it will dry on the same day and then we can just put it back on the bed. But it's probably a good idea that we get a second one just in case. So we'll probably do that soon. Okay, now I'll take you for a little tour around the house to show you what else we own one of. Okay, so first up in our laundry, I'll show you what we own one of in here. So in here we own one clean clothes basket for hanging them up outside. So as I said in one of my other videos, we don't own a laundry basket, so I count them sort of as different things. A laundry basket is more for dirty clothing. We don't have that because we put our dirty clothing in the washing machine. And this is just for hanging up our clean clothes outside. So we have that here. And we also have a pair of cleaning gloves that are reusable. So this is just used mainly for when we'll clean the bathroom. Now here in the kitchen, we own one saucepan with a lid, one fry pan with a lid, and one casserole pot with a lid. So as you can see, we own one of each pot here. So if you look at the stove, it's quite full, right? You can't really fit a fourth pot there, maybe if you're lucky. So these three pots are plenty for us when we are cooking. Okay, now if you look down here to our oven, we just have one oven tray in here with the top tray and the bottom part, and that's the only oven tray we have, which is great for just two people like us. Now up over here, we own can reach it. There we go. Okay. 
We earn one flower vase for decorating our home with some flowers whenever we want to. One is plenty for us because we don't do it too often. And we earn one teapot. So we can put loose leaf tea in here or when I make my homemade lattes, I can put it in here also, which is great. So we can have it just for ourselves or when guests come over as well. And I'm not really into having decorative teapots. I just want to have it for a practical sense. Now in this drawer, we own our very large chopping board, which is great. You can fit a lot on here. Cha -cha. So I use this chopping board practically every single day. I'll use it to cut up fruit and vegetables and other things like that. I will never put any meat on it as that will cross contaminate the chopping board. So I'll use our glazed plates instead because they don't scratch and they're a lot more easier to clean than wood. So now out of the kitchen, if I turn you around, So we own one TV, so that's mainly because we have a small place. I'm pretty sure if we had a bigger place, we would own maybe one or two more, to be honest. But at the moment, we just have one TV and usually people will own a few in their home. Okay, so here I own one plucker for when I want to pluck my eyebrows and one little trimmer for when I want to trim my eyebrows. And we also own one nail clipper with a nail file in there. So we can just use that if we want to clip or file our nails. In here, I also own one shower cap, so when I do maybe a hair mask, I can just pop this on my head. That way it keeps the stuff from going all over the place. So I'll use that just for DIYs. So I actually don't own a hairbrush because I don't brush my hair too often, but instead I own a detangler, which does a really good job, so I own one of these. Actually, I'm lying. I do own a hairbrush, but it's in my car. It's only for emergencies if I need it outside. But otherwise, I just have one detangler. <laughs> I own one pair of swimmers because I don't live close to a beach or own a pool, so I don't really swim that often. I own one hat. So this is really great for when I want to go outside and work out or if I want to do some sort of outdoor activity such as bushwalking. So I just own it for practical reasons. I don't have any other sorts of fancy hats. At the moment, I don't own a suitcase, so I just have one backpack to travel with on short trips. I own one handbag, so it's not a fancy handbag at all. It's just a plain black one because it can suit everything that I wear. The reason why it's so large is so I can fit my water bottle inside because I like to take it everywhere with me. So this handbag is just really practical and goes with everything. And I own one pair of sunglasses. So despite living in Australia, a very sunny country, I just don't really wear sunglasses that often. I feel very awkward wearing them for some reason. So I only have them for practical uses as well. I'll keep them in my car for when I'm driving and I just can't see very well because of the sun. So I'll wear them in the car mainly. And as you can probably tell, they're a bit banged up on the shields. So yeah, I probably need a new pair sometime in the future, but because I don't wear them too often, I don't really mind. Now I challenge you to try and figure out what items you may not use that often. So maybe instead of owning many of them, you can just own one of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you have time, you can check out some of my other videos on minimalism, such as this one and this one. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Remember to love others and yourself, and I'll see you next time.